Welcome to another powerful episode of the Neoliberal Realm Podcast, where we talk about a range of issues from politics to sports and even cybersecurity. And um, actually, I promise you guys that we're going to talk about cybersecurity today and it, probably particularly DDoS. And we have today on the Neoliberal Realm Podcast, my vice president, my IT vice president, we also the president of Ant Business Solutions. And um, we will, we're going to talk to him about Ant Business Solutions and so on and so forth. But I am happy to have with me the man of the hour, Ramon Henry. What's up, Ramon? Hi, hi man. I'm good. Um, thanks for having me. Uh, pleasure to be here to discuss this issue regarding DDoS attacks, as it's been on the rise lately along with brute force. Yes. So it'll be nice to inform you know, the public about this. And yes, we will delve into the world of cybersecurity, cyber threats, yeah. and the ever-evolving landscape of digital security. Of course, That's I'm fair. your host, Ronaldo McKenzie. And today, I, as I said before, we have a special guest who is not really a guest. Joining us, Ramon Henry is the IT Vice President at the Nilobal Corporation and the President of Ant Business Solutions. We are going to explore a pressing issue that affects business of all sizes, DDoS. And DDoS means, I believe, what does it mean? Distributed. What does DDoS mean again? Okay. DDoS, so DDoS means DDoS attack means distributed denial of service attack. So what this does is that they flood your internet or or your website or web server with a lot of internet traffic. What this does is prevent other users, like legitimate users, from actually accessing and connecting to your online services. This is actually a crime, a cyber crime, which you can do anywhere from five to 20 years in prison for based on the scale. In Jamaica or in the US? Um, well, in Jamaica, it, cyber crime starts at five to 15 years. Um, oh, in wow. the US, it can go up to as high as 30 years or sometime life in prison, depending oh. on the crime. Oh, wow, wow, wow. And just so you know that um, I am in the US here and um, Ramon is in Jamaica, but um, we operate a business that is international and global. And we are content creators. Um, Ramon and I, we are content creators. We run a, a, an organization together. And it, which is, and we are, I, I say that we're a startup business owners in a sense. And um, I personally experienced the devastating effects of DDoS attacks on my website, the nilaboy.com and when I was seeing mckenzie.com and my devices and um, because it affects other things other than your not just your in your website but your devices am i right well it depends on the devices so if they're attacking mm -hmm. for example an organization's infrastructure they will start by attacking the company's firewall and then work their way into their network infrastructure oh wow how what does that look like and by the way just so you know before you respond um, as you said, so you said DDoS stands for Distributed Denial of Service, which is a type of malware that targets web servers, domains, and IP addresses. Yes. Yes. That's okay. Good. So, all right. So, um, but so one of the so so the question for you is, as we break down DDoS attack for our listeners who might not be familiar with them. Yeah. Um, so again, what exactly is DDoS if it does not involve devices? Is it just networks and domains and IP addresses? No, it can. It it's not. The, those are usually the primary target because those are usually the more easier way to get in. But it can be used on a much wider scale. And yeah. the motivation for actually carrying these out, actually, you know, it varies. Some do it as a challenge. Some do it yeah. as a way to bring down a competitor. Some do it as a way to bring down a company. So like I say the scale of it, it's very, it's very big. So some at some attacks actually are carried out by disgruntled individual, like for example, activists. Yes. Say, okay, they are not pleased with the way you're running your company. They don't please with the, your image, what you do, what they do. They try to bring you down. So oh wow, this is this is powerful. What you have just said. Yeah. So and what we do, we are we're a think tank, and we have that. Anyway, so sorry for cutting you. This is intense. Go ahead. Repeat that last part that you just said. That part, I love it. Go yes. ahead. Okay, so I was saying before, you have activists that tries to bring down companies, competitors, those that do business in a way that they don't like. So, you yes. know, you have like those, oh, I do not like this company. I do not like the way they do business. I do not like their procedures. I'm going to try to bring them down. So they tend to use 